Hello Aries, it's Guiding Halo here. I'm doing a spread of uh, kind of relationship stuff, I guess. So this is how he feels. This is about him and this is about her. So this will be for male Aries and his person and female Aries and her person. Okay, so I hope it resonates with someone. Uh, let's get started. I haven't looked at the cards yet, so I'm excited to see. So this is how he feels about you, Aries lady. Oh, he thinks you are his ace of pentacles. He thinks you're a gift from the divine. That's what he thinks right there. He thinks you are his stability, perhaps. Perhaps Source thinks that you are his stability. What are his hopes and or fears? Oh, the Wheel of Fortune. So, he hopes to have bounty with you, but he also fears having bounty with you. He fears that perhaps this wheel could spin the wrong direction, and he hopes it could spin the right direction. What a source feel he should do. Hmm. We have the Three of Swords. Source thinks he should heal. I think Source thinks he should take the three swords out of his heart and heal his heart. I wonder why his heart is broken. Hmm. What's he gonna do? Oh, he's gonna be the king of cups. Hmm. He's gonna keep his feelings to himself, but love you. He's gonna. He loves you deeply. This is not a king that wears his emotions on his sleeve. Or maybe he does. He'll give you some emotion, but he won't give it all to you. No. He keeps things in the background that are unseen. But if you're wise, you'll see them peeking out from behind. This man has been hurt. And Source thinks he needs to take some time to heal yet. But this Cancer Pisces Scorpio right here, Aries... Or if this is an Aries man. Mm. Yeah, he's coming across as the King of Cups. Maybe he's got Aries in his Venus. Or rising or moon sign. Perhaps it is a Cancer Spicy Scorpio. Let's see what the outcome is. Release. Oh uh, yeah, so he needs to release the pain. He needs to release pain and heartache. The end of a phase or situation. Spiritual tra transformation. Time to move on. Aries. Aries man. It's time to move on from your heartache and your pain. If you're holding on to it, it's time to let it go. I suspect that this person that's come into your life is going to help you with that. That's what I suspect. Can I get a card of clarification, please, on this uh, Three of Swords? Card of Clarification, Past, Present, or Future. Card of Nine of Cups. Give me another card, please. Queen of Swords. That's uh, Aries, Libra, Gemini. This is a person that's very cutting. Holds emotion back. We'll just speak the truth. Can be very blunt. Perhaps he's been hurt by somebody who's been very blunt. Who he cares about very much. Perhaps he needs to release the pain to move forward either with this person or with someone new. Let's get a couple of cards of clarification on the Ace of Pence and Wheel of Fortune, please. Oh, there's one right there. Oh, he wants to bring forth an offer. This Aries man wants to bring forth an offer, a stable offer, but very slow moving. Or someone with this Aries energy coming across as King of Cups wants to move very slow, but this is an offer that can grow, 
can grow into something beautiful. Tell me about this Wheel of Fortune, please. Tell me about this Wheel of Fortune. Balance. This is divine balance, okay? This is not just juggling things, in my opinion. Anything with the infinity symbol, okay, is, is the divine telling that you need to find balance between your emotional and the physical, the, th the mental and the 3D, the, all of that sort of, the difference and balance between two things. Perhaps his emotions and you, he's trying to find a divine balance between them, or his emotions, being a very emotional person, needs to release the heartache and the pain. I suspect you've been brought in to help him do that. Okay, let's go over to the Aries female, or the man who's dealing with an Aries female. You can switch it however it works for you. How is she feeling in this situation? Well, she has a truth to tell. This is how she feels about you, that you have a truth to tell. But you've come at her very gently, even though you've wanted to come at her like this. She feels that you've delivered her a truth, a very gentle truth, but a truth nonetheless. I wonder if she trusts it. Huh. What are her hopes and or fears? Oh, she fears great sadness. She fears that your past sadness is going to come between them. Perhaps that's a truth she delivered to you. And it took you and it hurt you deeply, perhaps. This person, perhaps it hurt this man deeply. Her hopes are that she's not stuck in this pain forever. She hopes that she can come out of grieving. my take on that. Let's see what Source thinks that this beautiful lady should do. Ah. Source is telling you that this person is your soulmate. You have known them before. Either that or have they have a very childlike quality or you do. Maybe Source is telling you to embrace your inner child where emotion is concerned. Let's see what you're going to do messages you're going to send messages to this person all right let's uh well first before i do that let's find out what the outcome is the empress oh that's beautiful aries ladies the empress lavish abundance give birth to your dreams nurture yourself and others the empress you could just be uh embodying this beautiful energy it's beautiful it's just beautiful energy. So you're going to send messages to somebody. You know what? First I'm going to pull a couple clarifiers on the Page of Swords and this sadness. Please give me some clarification on this woman. Page of Swords and sadness. A couple of cards. Clarif oh, there we go. We got three. Huh. Oops, upside down. So the Hanged Man. You've been in Hanged Man state. Perhaps this page of swords, this message, or maybe what you received, well, that's how you feel about this person. Perhaps you had to go in a hangman state to find out and share your truth with them. And you're single. That makes you sad. And you think you're going to be single forever. And you're waiting on clarification, on clarity, through the situation with this person. Source says what you should do is understand that this is a soulmate or a person that you've known from the past. Could be past as in eight months ago, or it could be the past when you're eight years old, or it could be a past lifetime. What you're going to do is send some messages. Let's get a couple of cards of clarification, please, on this card with children, soulmate, and this messages. Please give me a couple of cards of clarification. Oh, there we go. Walk away from emotional heartache and pain. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Walk away from the emotional heartache and pain and take a leap of faith and send messages. What should the messages be about other than your truth? Because we should all live our truth up front, close, and personal every single day, regardless of the outcome, because the outcome will be as Divine Source intends it to be. Oh, look at that. You got the Empress twice. You must embody the Empress energy. 
So do you, work on you, do your thing, tell this person that you feel that they're your soulmate, that you, that you love them, that you care. Why? Because you want commitment. Tell them that you want commitment. Tell them the truth. If you're dealing with someone who's coming across as Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, if you're dealing with that type of person, Aries ladies, man, uh, just speak your truth. And then please, please, please be patient above all things because these men take a lot of time to come to terms with their own selves, never mind having someone enter into their life. You know, and if this is an Aries man and you're dealing with this beautiful woman, that's what she wants with you. And maybe that's what's stopping you up. Maybe a truth has been spoken and it's giving you great pain. You need to release the pain in order to move forward. Maybe even share the fact that it hurt you. What's angelic guidance about? You are a light worker. God needs you to shine your divine light and love like an angel upon the earth and all of its inhabitants. Huh. So someone here either side or both thereof can be light workers. This means that you are here to shine a light, help people heal, to give guidance, to love unconditionally. Empress energy. Empress, Empress, love unconditionally. Cancer's Pisces Scorpio, you guys love unconditionally with your whole hearts, but man, when you get hurt, you just like slather thousands of layers on top it's like it's like putting your heart in like a, a thousand feet both all directions square cube and sinking it into the marina's trance in the ocean like the deepest pit on the earth you can find and then someone comes along and has to be patient and live in empress energy to help you gentlemen even if you are an aries perhaps and you're feeling this way to help you gentlemen come out come out of that that you know, she's going to take her chisel, her sword of truth, these swords, you know, whatever swords she can find, whatever she can use to come and help unbury you from the depths of what you consider hell to bring you into happiness. Here's the beautiful thing, ladies. He thinks you're his ace of pentacles. If he's not telling you this, right here it says so. He wants to make an offer, but he's afraid of losing balance in his life. He's worked so hard to protect his heart. He's so afraid and so fearful. His heart, you know, take time to heal. Source thinks he should do, but he's coming across as the king of cups. He's got so much emotion, so much he, he just doesn't know how to handle it. But he needs to release the past in order to come to the present and the future. So my question to you ladies, what are you going to do about it? What is this God, this light worker thing about? Oh, Queen of Cups. We have a couple here, people. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Perhaps you're both embodying this energy. Very possibly so. Oh, look at that coming in. There's that sword coming in. Going to chisel away at that cement block around that heart. Be gentle, though, Empresses. Be gentle, okay? Do yourself. Do your own thing. Give little messages. Don't come in too fast and furious. Now, it's not something I would advise, but perhaps you can use your light working abilities to help break this cement block around this man's heart. And this man, right? Perhaps this empress has decided she wants to be single. She's just going to do her empress life. And that's the way it's going to be, even though secretly she wants commitment. Maybe she won't tell you that, but it says to me that she's going to be giving you some messages. And it may come in fast, furious, and ferocious. Be warned, it might shock the crap out of you. It might make you very happy. It might hurt your heart. Okay, whatever she does, you need to release. It looks to me like there's a soulmate on the board. Oh, look at that. This couple is going to have abundance. Holy. You got the Ace of Pentacles. You got the Ten of Pentacles. You got the Fortune card. Oh, you got the Nine of Cups. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I want clarification. More clarification. Okay. Calm down, Halo. Just calm down. I'm getting too excited here for my own good. Whew, we got two nines on the board. Wow. Tens on the board. Wow. Guys, this is beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. Have trust. Have faith. Understand the light work of the divine within you and that you are supposed to do. Some of you perhaps need to do your light work and this person will come to you or... 
very much perhaps you need to do your light work before anyone in this circumstance will give. You've got to do as divine source needs you to do, okay? And it won't give you the bounties and blessings unless you follow divine source's path for your life, which you chose to do when you came here. Ah, uh, transformation. Look at that. This message coming in to this person or to this person or whoever it's going to, I suspect that way since the knight's headed that way, could be to the queen, the female in this circumstance on this side. Message coming in. Oh, it's going to transform things. Might cause you to feel like the death is something, but I'm telling you right now, that is a rebirth if i ever seen it. That is going to bring, look at this couple with their dogs and their little child and the and in the market there, living their house. Look at her, look at him. Look at him, look at her. It's like, oh, you know, money abundance. Oh, that's beautiful. That's so beautiful. Give me one more card of clarification for this. In the middle here, this light working. Oh, choices. A little bit confused of what to do. Perhaps one or the other is not a light worker, and perhaps one or the other isn't sure. What do you think, Aries? I'm not sure. Make sure you make sure you subscribe. Make sure you leave your comments. Let me know what's going on with you guys. Oh, someone's making a gesture of love. Oh, I'm sorry, maybe. Maybe it's an I'm sorry, but someone thinks it might be a little bit fishy. There's lack of trust going on here, guys. Who's lack of trust in both of you? Y'all know that divine has your back, and the only best way to live anything is to live your truth, whether that puts you in pain or not. Living your truth at the end of the day, speaking your truth, living your truth, being your truth. Yeah, it's been a battle, hasn't it? Yep, look at that. Five of swords. Battle's done, though. The battle can be done. Pick up your swords, walk away. These people are finished, that's for sure. You don't need to keep fighting what's no longer needs to be fought. You have everything in your arsenal to make this happen. That's the magician. Both of you. You are a light worker. Get on it, guys. Come on. You know you love this person. Both of you do. <sighs> Seriously. Y'all need to get over yourselves and start loving. That's all. That's what it comes down to. Put the pain of the past behind you. Put the grieving and the regret behind you. Decide if you want this person and move forward in love, trust, and faith as the kind of love, trust, and faith that Divine Source has for you, right? I hope this helps somebody, and I hope it resonates. Blessings to you all.